Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about chronometer and Android Kotlin. So I have created this project in which I have this activity man.xml and manactivity.kt files and I have nothing inside this. So now I'll go here into this code. Now the first question has arise, what is a chronometer? So with a chronometer we can start up and down counter with the best time. Now we will see the example of chronometer and you will understand what a chronometer is. So here I will create a chronometer. So I'll use chronometer and now I'll uh, make this rep content, rep content and I will give it an ID here ID uh, at ID chrono meter and now if I go to design now you can see we have a chronometer small chronometer here now I'll give it a fixed size so I'll uh, give it a size up uh, uh, 200 dp width and uh, 200 dp height uh, height so 200 dp and now if I go to design now you can see chronometer on your screen so I'll uh, pin it from the top and I'll give it a 24 dp from the top and pin it from this side and I will give it a, a 24 dp or I will uh, center it horizontally vertically and horizontally so now horizontally is it in the center now I'll change this text size of this uh, chronometer so for that I will come to this uh, code and I'll use here uh, text size and I will make this uh, 22 dp and now if I go to design now you can see that it is a text size increase now I'll drag in a button as well so button here and now I'll pin it to this uh, chronometer and now I'll pin it to this side as well as uh, this other side and I will make this uh, uh, 24 dp from this chronometer now I'll change the text on this button so to change the string so I'll come here to this project and now this resources and values and in this values I will come to this uh, uh, string dot xml and here I'll create the string uh, string and uh, name uh, start and here I will use the string start and then string name uh, stop and I will use here uh, stop then I will uh, add another string string working and it will use uh, started and then we will use string name stopped and I will use here stopped and now we are good to go so I will come here to this activity man.xml and now I'll go to this uh, code and uh, I'll use uh, this uh, button I'll go down to button and here I will change the text to add string and uh, start so now if I go to the design so now you can see the text change on this button now we will connect this button and this chronometer to our manactivity.kt file so I'll come to this manactivity.kt and here I will uh, use a wall meter equals find view by id and uh, here i will use 
square brackets and uh, here I will use uh, chrono meter and uh, I'll use r dot id dot uh, chrono meter and now I'll uh, wall btn equals find you by id and it will become button and I will use uh, r dot id dot uh, button and now we will create um, click less than on this button btn dot set on click and uh, this first one and now we will start the uh, counter here now here i will create the variable war is working and equals to false and then if not is working then do what uh, meter dot start and uh, is working equals true and now now here i will use else and here i will use uh, curly braces and uh, now meter dot uh, stop and uh, uh, is working equals false and now i'll come out of this else and here i will use btn dot set uh, text and uh, here I will use uh, if uh, is working so use or dot string dot start and else uh, or dot string dot stop stop and now here we will use a toast so toast dot make text this comma and here i will use get string and uh, here we will use if uh, is working so r dot uh, string dot working and uh, else r dot uh, string dot stopped and here i'll use a comma toast dot then short and dot show so now our app is complete so now i will run this on our emulator so i'll quickly run this so now the application is running so if i go to emulator and start the counter now you can see the counter started now if i stop this so it's stopped now if i start it again it again starts and now if i stop it again so it again stop so this is chronometer and android kotlin so this code will be available in the description of this video and I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.